Tonight we're going to be replacing this piece of junk, cheesy plastic light fixture uh, with a ceramic one. And we're also going to remove this wire because it no longer serves any purpose. And then at a later time we'll take the whole run out. So this is busted. I'll go figure it works properly now because the camera is on. Okay, that's what it usually does. Of course, now it's working pretty good, but it's 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 busted it's not working right it has the arcing sound doesn't make a good connection so we're going to replace it with a ceramic one i don't like plastic wiring devices in general but then you take something like this where you have a switch which is something that could potentially make an arc and you have a light bulb which gets hot and then you put it all in the plastic housing it just doesn't make any sense to me so i really don't like these types of fixtures. So we're going to replace it with the ceramic type and this one happens to have an outlet on there. I don't think I'll ever use the outlet but no, no harm in having it. So it's, we'll have to switch the power off for this. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And let's get this, this thing off of here. We'll keep this uh, chain the new one. <laughs> we'll keep the bulb for the new one as well. Okay, so what do we got here? We have... Actually, this is, this is okay. Well, actually, this is not okay at all. <laughs> nope, spoke too soon. Look at this. Wow, that is, that's crazy. That was not even joined with these other ones. I haven't undone this in the slightest and that just came right out. Um, this, this has a little bit of copper exposed here, but it's the low side. It's not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, it's always something with this wiring. What a hack. So these two are connected properly. And then the rest of this just is not. So I don't know what's up with that. So um, this wire... All oh, looks relatively okay. I'm kind of checking for that uh, liquidy stuff to show up on the when the insulation degrades. I'm not really seeing any of it on there. I'm not really seeing it on the high side either. So these pieces look okay for now. They are all going to get redone eventually. Um, I think what I'm going to do is when I put the new s fixture in. I'm, oh wow! Look at this. Huh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this arcing on here. It's actually like almost welded itself on. Good grief. Yeah, not good. Um, I'm going to replace these leads, which are about to come off anyways, with new wire. This way, if this does go bad in the next couple months before I get it replaced, it won't contaminate the... Um, the fixture. Oh, look at this. That just came right off. And I think that this might be arcing to to there or something. I don't know. Maybe the fixture's not actually broken. I, I don't know. It looks like the arcing is, is transpiring right here. Uh, which is kind of weird. Maybe we'll check that later on in a different video. Alright, so let me get some more wire. We'll um, re-strip these out straighten everything out in here take this out and, and get the new fixture put in place much more safely than the old one was all right let's get this new fixture set up here 
So we've got some new pieces of wire that we're going to work with to connect to the fixture. Actually, that needs to be longer. Not sure where we're going to find that piece of wire. Or that one. Okay, so there's a proper connection of the common. All these loose connections around here is really some scary stuff because it's, that's how you get uh, electrical fires. And there's a good connection on the high side and then uh, we'll have to kind of rig the bond up I don't think that I'm ever actually going to use this outlet but we'll put it there just for the sake of putting it there Okay, so this is now set up and ready to install. Okay, so we're going to undo this. And we said that it was the bottom wire here, which we need to remove. Making it a little easier, we'll just shorten this substantially, and this should kind of just pull right out. When is the this is weird? This is all just bound together on the top. The conventional way to do it is is to kind of wrap this around here like this because with this older wire the bond is the steel shield itself it's not an actual wire okay so we're done with this wire I'm not going to use it anymore um, Wrap this wire around here, same as on the other side. Okay, so now let's get all this straightened out here.
All right, the wire looks like it's in decent condition still. So I think it's okay to reuse it for now. But I do eventually want to change it. I want to change all the wires. Now we'll get the fixture, and uh, I'm just going to bond all three of these together at once. We don't need to, uh, well actually we, we, already, we are doing the same thing that it was before. wire is a little sticky it's not wet like the other one was but it's not a hundred percent I think it'll get us by for the next couple months but it is it is definitely all gonna get replaced it has to be it's past its uh, it's past its expected lifespan Okay, so that's what the connection should have looked like before, but didn't look anything like it. Well, these morettes are not, uh, these are too small. I had to get some different morettes. I like these much better. They fit better on the wires. stuff going on around here. And the ground, now this is not conventional, but it's also not dangerous. I'm going to just stick it up here and I'm going to wrap it around the wire. Because there's nothing else in here to connect it to. Okay, that hazard is gone. Go ahead and close up the box. This is 12 gauge wire, so it's very difficult to work with. I think that was one of the worst connections we've discovered yet. That was just horrible.
around here. I'm just going to do this, which is not standard, but it will bond it. Oh man, it's filthy up here. Jeez. And this I'll remove tomorrow or whatever, some other time. Okay, so let's turn the power back on now. I'm going to grab my outlet tester just to prove that it is in fact bonded because I'm sure some people say, oh, it's not really bonded. So on this tester, the uh, two lights on the right lit up is correct. Uh, a missing ground is just the center light lit up. And we got both lights on the right, so it is correct and grounded. Not conventional. Perhaps not what it should be, but it's a lot better than it was, and it's not a hazard anymore. So let's put our bulb in here and make sure that it works. We'll reconnect that little piece of chain so it's going to be reachable still. Okay. No arcing. The switch actually has a nice sound to it too. Okay. This is repaired. One step closer to safety.